What you are about to experience are out of context spoilers for the new rides coming in 2023. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back to Park Pals, everyone. Last week, we talked about all of the new upcoming rides and attractions and all the announcements from Cedar Fair. Would you know, link to that up there yes. Yes, if you want to watch it. But we got to thinking, there are so many other new attractions coming out in 2023, and we just wanted to share these with you. We're going to put them all in one great video, serve them to you on a silver platter, give them to you like a little goat giving some leaves to its mother. <laughs> We are super excited to talk about these rides. We have some great announcements from parks like Dollywood, SeaWorld, Adventureland, and even a new one. Mattel. Um, Mattel. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, so we're gonna be talking about all the announcements from these new rides today. We're putting in here in one video. So let's get into it. Yeah. First up, we're going down to Orlando. Good old SeaWorld. They are going to be receiving the first of its kind, a surf coaster, which kind of just looks like a second generation B&M stand-up coaster. But hopefully it's improved and not causing pain in any sensitive areas. No. <laughs> what we know so far is that it's going to be launched. There's going to be lots of high, high banking turns, maybe even an inversion. Um, it looks fun. Yes, and with this ride, SeaWorld is becoming more and more of a coaster destination, a place to go to in order to ride some of these great rides. And they're all B&M rides, it yeah, seems. Yeah, it's kind of the unofficial B&M park, other than Icebreaker. <laughs> anyway, when does this ride come out? 2023. There 2023. hasn't been like an official, Hopefully. like, here's the name, here's the POV, but there has been a trailer showing some footage of the ride. Yes. Um, All right, moving like on. A fun ride. We got Busch Gardens Williamsburg and SeaWorld San Diego. There hasn't been any official announcements yet, but there are rumors and sightings of Intamin Track arriving at both of these parks. Um, yes, we will not, we cannot confirm or deny anything. No. What's up y'all, Editor Joel here. After doing a little more research, it turns out this new ride at Busch Gardens is rumored to be an Intamin made family indoor multi-launch coaster set to occupy the building of the former dark ride, Curse of Dark Castle. This information comes from BGWFans.com and special leaks they've managed to get a hold of. So all the information here you can take with a grain of salt as changes are still possible while this ride is in development. It seems like this ride is going to be similar to SeaWorld San Diego's Wave Breaker, which is another intimate made family launching coaster. But as noted, this ride will feature multiple launches and high banked turns. But the interesting twist of this ride will appear at the end. When the car begins braking to head back into the station, it appears that there will be a switch track that will take riders into a completely new section of the coaster with two more launches to see there. So that seems really cool, and in the end this will have four launches, it seems. Um, as for theming, we don't know much, but can assume that SeaWorld will want to incorporate as much of the existing theming from the Curse of Dark Castle. And again, this is all speculation as of now, so anything I mentioned could change. And as for SeaWorld San Diego, much less is known, but it appears that these tracks are also pointing to a multi-launch family coaster that will occupy the Wild Arctic Building and the adjacent parking lot. Rumors point that it will be an Arctic-themed coaster meant to simulate a snowmobile on a daring Arctic rescue mission. Again, very similar to Wavebreaker. Anyway, that's all we know so far. 
Um, next we have Dollywood. Dollywood, they got a big coaster coming this year. It's their biggest investment yet. It is a Vacoma family coaster. It's coming to the new Wildwood Grove section of the park, which is their more kitty family section. Some people are a little disappointed that it's a family coaster, but a family coaster does not necessarily mean it's going to be slow or dumb. Yes. Even though it's on the tamer side, I still think it looks like a really fun ride. Even though it's a family coaster, it doesn't look like it's going to be... Boring. Boring. It has three, three launches, launches and will go 48 miles per hour, which is only two miles per hour slower than Hagrid's at Universal. And those yes. are still fun launches over there. Too, it is so. a very fun launch on Hagrid's. I feel like it's going to be, like, obviously it's not going to be the extent of theming of Hagrid's because, once again, they're not going to spend $300 million, million dollars but, you know. on a roller coaster. <laughs> but there is small amounts of theming, well, not even more than small, because there's going to be onboard audio and looks like there's some rock work and some waterfalls to meander through. And plus, there's only going to be a 39-inch height requirement, which is good for the kiddos. Good actually. for the kiddos. Yeah, they're going to love it. Yes. Next up is Adventureland in Iowa. They're getting two new rides, one kitty coaster and one log flume. Uh, their kitty coaster is named the Flying Viking, while the other uh, log flume is going to be named Draken Falls. These rides are said to be intertwined with each other, and it looks like from the pictures that there's going to be some theming. Yeah. Which, I feel like this is the year of just themed family attractions. All we really have of this ride and the details of it is this 3D model of the Viking ride. Yes. It's set to open in 2023 still, so I expect to see more details coming out later. These look fun. I, I especially love log flumes. You know we love log You flumes. know we love log flumes. Flumes. So, flumes. <laughs> so, Draken Falls, we're coming for you. Next up, the brand new theme park being built in Glendale, Arizona, which will be nice, especially because there's kind of a drought of theme parks in between Texas and California. So now there's going to be Mattel Park in Arizona. Yes, they're going to have a Barbie land, a Thomas and Friends land, and a Hot Wheels land, which is going to be one of the star attractions there, is a Hot Wheels roller coaster, which is a Chance Rise GTX coaster, which those who are unfamiliar with that, it's like Lightning Run at Kentucky Kingdom, which I think it's a really fun ride. It's underrated in my opinion, but it looks to be from the picture that it focuses more on versions than airtime. It fits with the theming of Hot Wheels too, because yes. you know you love to make the tracks that have the loop. I would say they kind of missed an opportunity here, making it a single rail Raptor, <laughs> because that's what kind of the Hot Wheels track the looks like. Look like. It kind of looks like a Raptor and just having that orange Raptor track, but I will still take this. This looks like a fun ride. No, it looks fun. So yeah, we're excited to see what this Mattel Park is going to be like. You Big know. news for Arizona theme park fans. <laughs> Next up, we have North America's first tilt coaster, Circuit Breaker, which is being built at Austin's Texas Circuit of America. For those who don't know, a tilt coaster is a coaster where when the car gets up to the top of the hill, it rotates you down and then it releases you to go down the hill. Um, this is being built by Vacoma. And Joe, what do you think about the tilt coaster? I mean, I'm excited for it. And it looks, a, a lot of the times it feels like a tilt coaster is a little gimmicky. Like yeah. you go up to the top and yeah, it's cool. You tilt forward and go. But this one looks like it has a really fun ride following it too. Yeah. With cool banks and inversion. Honestly, some of the elements kind of remind me of Velocicoaster, not going to lie. Yeah. It looks fun. It looks fun. We're whippy, hopefully. Yes. You know we love whippy rides. Yes. Whipped cream. <laughs> Whipped cream. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna jump across the pond for this one. We're oh. going over to the UK, where Chessington World of Adventure is getting a new land themed to Jumanji, which may I say, these renderings, I just want to give compliments to the artist who ever composed this. It looks sick. The main attraction here is going to be a B&M winged launch coaster. There's not really any details of it yet other than just the pictures. I'm a big fan of wing coasters. I think they're fun, especially I love launches as well. Just combining two things I love. Yo, what do you think? I approve. 
There are all the announcements of rides coming in 2023. We're excited. We're pretty excited about this coming year. It's kind of the year of the themed family ride, which, you know, there's not none of those like world shattering or mind blowing announcements of this ride that's going to break this record and this record and this record. But still, I think it's a great year to be a theme park fan. Comment down below, which of these rides do you think looks the most fun? And which one are you the most excited for? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done it already. We really appreciate it if you do that. It, it means a lot. Goodbye! Uh, uh, <laughs>